Welcome and thank you for joining us. And what I do want to start with is can the House of Representatives on its own place a ceiling on all debt and borrowing by the federal government? Uh, yes, uh, I'll start by saying that uh, the House of Reps, they are in the right direction because that's what the Fiscal Responsibility Act stipulates in Part 12, that the President, within 90 days uh, of, the function, of the effect of that particular uh, act, will, in consultation with the Ministry of Finance, uh, but with clearance uh, with, the House of, uh, with the National Assembly, determine what the debt ceiling should be. So that's the step in the right direction. Do you, do you, are they talking about numbers? Is, are, are they certain numbers that they're looking at in terms of what that debt ceiling would be? Can I get your question correctly, please? The debt ceiling, they would like, are, are they talking about numbers? Are there any numbers that you have heard that they would like that ceiling to be at? Well, the, the, the debt ceiling should be determined by uh, the Minister of Finance. Uh, there's a way of calculating it. We have the debt management office that runs the debt sustainability analysis following the World Bank IMF framework. Uh, with that, uh, by the time the president then presents it to them, of course, the National Assembly has its own uh, uh, backup personnel who will equally get into such analysis and then finally come up with what the debt ceiling should be, the consolidated debt ceiling of the federal, state, and local governments. Doctor, earlier on, I think it was around April, the finance minister had said that debt to GDP in Nigeria was 17.8%, and she was arguing that it was below the 30% target set for the Nigerian economy. So if you're looking at 178 right now and the target is 30, it seems as though Nigeria is well below, below the target that it should be. So what are the actual concerns? Uh, sorry, can I get your question again? The actual components of what? The finance minister had said that the target for the economy, the debt target for the economy, set for the economy, is 30%. And debt to GDP right now in Nigeria is about 178 which seems to be much lower than the 30% that has been set for the economy. So what I'm asking is that if you're at 17.8% and the target that has been set is 30%, what are the concerns? Yeah, the, the concern there is that we have a rising debt profile. You know, the thing is beginning to rise again, and if care is not taken, we may not have the chances of securing the future. You know, we may not have the chances of uh, really keeping a stop to it because the thing is gradually rising now, even though it's 17 point uh, something percent to that of GDP, but the ceiling, you know, the, the, the benchmark is 40, 40% 40 to GDP, even though there are other indicators of measuring the debt ratio, you know, the revenue of the government as well as the, the export. But uh, securing that with the, with the GDP is still below the threshold, you know, following the IMF World Bank scenario. But then we, we, one shouldn't be looking at that. The point is that the debt profile is rising over time. And uh, if care is not taken, uh, we might not really be securing the future. One of the issues that have, well, two of the issues that have been brought up were the pay to civil servants, and that seems to be expanding. And also, it seems as though the finance minister had asked for, I think it was KPMG, to actually look at the pension funds in, um, among civil servants. Where else do you think the government could cut when it comes to spending? Uh, you know, over in, within the, uh, based on the medium-term expenditure framework, the government realizes that, you know, and... Uh, tries to embark on fiscal consolidation. But the issue has now been getting to cut the right things, you know, getting to cut the right things without really end uh, endangering the objectives of the MTEF as well as the yearly budgets. So the, it, it now calls for a proper scrutiny, you know, when you look at fiscal consolidation exercise of the government. So uh, over time, you, you see that, well, spending has been lopsided in favor of the recurrent expenditure it's against the capital. So in trying to consolidate, there must definitely be a cut within the recurrent expenditure, but one has got to be careful in cutting that so that you don't raise any social upheaval as a result.